Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. As you can see, we had quite a bit of snow overnight. It is now December 2, mid-December. And uh, yeah, it's a cold one. Now, after the last episode and the absolute disaster fiasco of feeding the cows again, I had a little play around and I think I managed to figure out some sort of feed. Uh, they've not got much left. We did get 25,000 for milk overnight for what we did do. Um, obviously the feeding has gone that bad that two of the cows have died. Three of the cows have died. Look at that. Awful. Awful. So I think... I don't think. I've pulled up the uh, XML file on the other screen for this. What I needed is silage, dry grass windrow sugar beet that's been cut beet and mineral feed and that would have given us a mix now with the what was called the realistic one and i was trying to put a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of everything else what i'd understood was wrong i went back i went to uh disturb simulations video on feed and the cows again for about the hundredth time i think very much disturbed and what you need is corn silage and grass silage, those two silages will give you a TMR and then you can just chuck in some of the other stuff if you want to like boost it I th from what I understand <laughs> I think I am so dumb but going forward once we've got rid of this sugar beet we're going to use potatoes because our windrow for whatever reason is coming up as uh, dry alfalfa and the dry alfalfa TMR mixes are f um, grass fermented dry alfalfa windrow, potato cut, and mineral feed. So, we need to get through the beet. We'll use the beet. We can cut the beet and put that straight in. If I, if I use this tool, I can cut all this beet, put it in a trailer, and empty that trailer straight into the, uh, to the cows, into their feeding trough, and they take that as uh, moisture uh, feed. So, I don't know. I... <laughs> I want to get the the beet production thing around the back here. I was going to do that overnight, but it was dark and I couldn't see, so uh, I thought I'd save that for the day. But thinking about it, if we want potatoes, then surely I want to find something that's going to cut potatoes for me. But, you know, I, I need to really look into it. I need to open up another map and I need to practice some more. I need to see what I'm doing wrong. But anyway, we do have jobs to do today, so let's get started to it. Now, I was thinking uh, my first job was going to be to uh, finish subsoil and this, but I don't think we're going to be able to cut through the snow, are we? I'd be surprised. I haven't really done much work in snow, and I don't know if this is going to disappear or not. But our worker managed to get all of the field bar this done overnight, so uh, I'm going to see if we can dig through the snow. If not, I don't think we're going to have anything to do today. Other than maybe building the beet mulcher chopper. And I don't know if we've got one that does beet, whether that would do potatoes as well. Probably not. This is going to tell me the ground is frozen or something, I think. We'll see. It's down. Does this work? Can you fluke it through the snow? Oh, you can. And your stones come up like snow. What do you know? So anyway, yeah, we'll do this then. This is what we're doing. We are going to d dig through this snow with our subsoiler and try and uh, dig this up. I'm hoping it's going to warm up and we're going to get rid of the snow because I need to dig up the grass to join our meadows. I want to try and extend them a little bit that we need to do. We may get rid of some more trees this winter. So we've got jobs I want to do. We need to get stuck into the animal feed. We may need to uh, change the, the feed mixer, unfortunately. As much as I love it, after playing about with it for quite a while, trying to do different feed mixers and whatnot, I don't think it's going to be big enough. Now, there is an update for Maypole on um, Cavalier Roy's uh, Discord. I do need to download that because I believe that gives us a fix for 
the robot feeder so that the robot feeder works with Maze Plus, I believe. And that could be a game changer if we could pump everything we need to feed them into the feed mixer or the robot feeder with Maze Plus. That would, that would be awesome. I think he's changed the uh, capacities as well, so it's a little bit more realistic. So if you do go for the animal trough or the feeding trough rather than the robot, you need to do it a couple of times a day because it will just max out. But we can also get into the uh, XMLs for our feed and reduce maybe what they require. Because it does seem like an insane amount of feed, doesn't it? Like 10,000 litres of feed per cow every day. 10,000 litres is a lot. But I don't know. We'll uh, we'll just have to see when we. But this is us for now. This is my job for the morning. I tried to start as early as I could with daylight coming up. We may even skip through after today. We may. Uh, I'll I'll do whatever jobs I need to do, but work through winter off screen, and you can come back uh, probably early spring or late winter, something like that. Because unless the snow really <laughs> disappears, we're not going to be able to get contracts. We don't really need a lot of contracts, we do have work to do. Also, I was thinking, because we're running the Maze Plus and something that works well with all the feeds, and it's a big part of it, is um, grain grist. So we could get a grist mill factory and plonk on our site in front there. I think it would then require like wheat, barley, oats, and then it'll grind it all together to give you, and corn I think, to grind it all together and it'll give you your grain grist, which is then used as the um, sort of mineral feed part of uh, some of the um, TMRs and also can be fed straight into the cow feed uh, as a mineral based uh, feed which is then the power food. So, uh, yeah, there is that. So I'd like to get that set up. I'd like to get something to do the beets and the potatoes. Just sort of see how we can go from there. I think if we, if we get ourselves a silage full of, um, or a clamp full of corn silage, a clamp full of the grass silage, and then just use our beets, we could keep going with beets and then add mineral feed or, or the grist to it and just, you know, whatever you like, really. I think that would that could be a good option. So I might try and get that mill, not the grill, yeah, I might, could, if we can afford it, we'll get both off in place today and see, see what we can do with it. The other option would be to place, like, a purchase site at the store um, so we can just buy the things we need and whether that would help us for a little bit. I'm going to try and release these and record these pretty close together again like I was before. So if you think we should put a, a purchase site down, let me know and uh, I'll do that. I won't put one down without you guys having a little input on that one, I don't think. I think you can place it for free, uh, but obviously you just have to pay to get out what you want to get out. Which is plenty fair enough. So I'll just finish this off and... Uh, you guys can join me on uh, my next endeavour. I do apologise, it wasn't until I got back to the farm that I realised, or nearly to the farm, that I realised we were on a one-time speed from where I was faffing about overnight. So uh, I've progressed time along a bit as to where I believe we would be after finishing that job. Now, annoyingly, today, I was hoping to get rid of uh, Shit Mountain and do some fertilising after digging up over at the meadow. Now, can we see? I don't think we would be able to do it. I don't think we could be able to see. I have moved some of these as well overnight. I'll just show you. We've got some of them in there. I've put some in there, and I've put a couple in the beef pasture. They're doing all right. They've got a little bit of feed as well. Unfortunately, I can turn this running back and forth. Sorry. Uh, for whatever reason now, since an update, I guess, possibly, uh, the clamp 
doesn't tell me how much I have. See? Zero. Uh, but we had about 300. I've moved about 120, 130,000 litres. Maybe a bit more. So we, we're guessing on how much silage we got left now. Now that it's snowing, our, cow, our cows won't be able to graze now either. So that, that aspect of feed is gone. What are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah, I wanted to see if I can see. I can't really, can I? Mm, possibly. Not accurately. I don't think I'd be able to uh, to do it. So we're going to have to wait for the snow to go for us to uh, merge the meadows and make that look pretty. So I think what we'll do is put our grist mill. We'll be able to afford it. We'll put a grist mill in over where the brewery was. And uh, if we've got some money left over, I'm going to put a beet cutting site factory or something around the back there. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Sorry, i uh, having issues with swallowing at the minute. My throat is killing me again. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Let's get that sorted and get some building done. Well, just as uh, we come in, the snow disappears. Now, I'm not sure which is which. We've got two unloads on that side and I think this one is a an in. I think that's how we're gonna do it. Oh so we're probably gonna have to put it in a bit like this. Don't know why it's jumping for. I have these issues regularly. <laughs> Everything's a fucking issue. Right. So we'll probably have to end up backing in. And out <laughs> in and out. Right, so hopefully is going to work for us. Was that 96 grand? And that's the grist mill, by the way. Sorry. Um, we're going to see if we can find something to do the beats with next. And I think since there's every chance that this is going to be temporary, I'm going to go with the small. Oh, this needs access on all sides. Not really. Just to do the uh, the purchasing and stuff behind, I think the management of it. So if we go say here, like that to uh, stop popping about, if it could. Why is it doing that? Honestly, I've I've really fallen out of love with this game lately. What is this stupidness? Right. How do we do? How do we do? How do we do? I don't want snapping. Should be just stop being a bell end. Right. We'll go with that before it messes up. Okay, let's have a look at it. First up, the beat cutting. Oh man, look at that. That is oh it's horrible, isn't it? I uh just not gonna go on about it. I'll just sort that out in a minute. But we should unload here or there, I think. I think you do either like you pour it in there or you can unload by a vehicle. And there we've got another one. Or maybe this is where we empty. Put a pour in there, empty from here. And then we manage it round the back. Hopefully this will work for us properly. So yeah, we just put beats in. It can hold a million litres, which is pretty good. And it can put out cut beat. It doesn't give you the the pulp, though. I would have thought there would have been a bit of pulp. But it seems not. But that's fine. So then over at the production site, you can see we have... These are two unloads, I think. I think that's an unload there. Unload here. And then unload around this side as well. Now there is one that has a... What's that then? If that's management, have I... I put nothing around the back, have I? No. Yeah, there is one that has a sell point as well. I didn't... I don't think I placed that one. I didn't want the extra confusion. Okay. So yeah. Grain grist, corn grist, uh, sh cut sugar beet. And potato. Oh, so I can cut the potato in here as well. Oh, yes. Now I'm happy. 
I didn't know I could cut the potato here. I mean, it is a bit of a bit of a trek to bring everything down here to cut into. That's the that's now the issue. Unless I use, oh, don't know what I'm pressing the wrong buttons for. Unless I keep that as like a beet field or a potato field, you can load it straight into here to cut. Excuse the tree. Because it's not such a challenge with the with the uh, with the grains. Cause you can fit more of it in the thing, and then we can maybe use this as well for beets. We can do beets and potatoes eventually. But if we do double beets or double potato, we can stick it in the factory, get it chopped up, and uh, yeah, we can start start really making stuff. What else did that have again? So this is just the. Um, the corn, you use the uh, the chopped corn, and I think you're supposed to ferment that, and that's how you get your uh, your CC. But this is the one that we're going to want for feed, and that is wheat, barley, and oats. Well, we've got wheat and barley. I can put some wheat and barley in here, and we can plant some oats, I guess, in this in the spring. We've got about 20,000 litres of corn. We could even get corn on the go. And I can load some uh, some beet in here. <laughs> Unfortunately, everything's all on the floor, with beet-wise. But I think I might put the beet in the one near the farm for now. And then next cut will go in here, just to keep it simpler. Whether that keeps it simpler, I'm not know, because I'll still have to then take it somewhere else. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Logistics. Anyway, we can go and dig up the uh, meadow now, so let's go and do that. For the uh, digging up and re-sculpting of the meadows, I've jumped in the New Holland and we've leased the the 6 meter lizard plow uh, purely for convenience. We've um, reshaped with a couple of different tools over the years, so uh, we're going to go to a convenience tool for this one. Uh, mainly because it's going to snow again, and if the game is registering that it's really cold still, <laughs> it might lay, and I might not be able to see what I'm doing. So, we're going to start here. I think I said I was going to come out pretty much to where that grass is. I don't know why we're getting that line. That's a bit weird. Some of you will see it, some of you won't. I guess. another one of them things I'm just going to stop worrying about I complain about the performance of this game enough, I'm sure everyone knows I'm not happy <laughs> it's annoying because I love the game, it just really pisses me off how poorly it performs all the time Obviously, I love the game, you know. I've got a YouTube channel pretty much built around it, so that's why I get annoyed. And I know that others don't share this annoyance. They'll, I don't know whether they just don't get new issues, whether they are a little bit sugarcoating with it. I know some of them are. Even some of the people I like watching um, are somewhat in denial of the issues, or even the bad decisions that I think giants make like I think the uh, oh the new expansion is just completely off the mark on what this game needed and I've seen many uh, partnered channels um, defend it and say how amazing it is and this that and the other and that the game is perfectly fine there's no issues with it why well, don't understand why one's complaining and I just like, oh dear. You've already got your little partner badge. You can get your tongue out of giant's ass. I don't want to give you anything else for it. And that's why I'll never even apply for a giant's partner. Because if you can't actually be honest about the product, then there's no point. Absolutely no point at all. Right, let's go and connect up over here. Doesn't matter if we destroy some of the grass bit with it. Um, we're gonna 
uh, seed into it. We may even reseed a lot of it just to uh, make it work. I'm trying to remember, I think it got dark around about 4 o'clock in it last time, so I need to be, be mindful about it. I want to get some fertilizer done. I want to get some muck spread on the meadows. I want to get some muck probably spread or start to get spread on not that one, our uh, meadow over there. Lots to be done. But I don't think there's enough jobs to spread out, sort of showing, um, sort of day by day. So that's why I think we'll probably uh, progress through a little bit off screen. I'll do my best to keep the animals topped up. We'll probably just run out of. Uh, everything by the time we come back, which is uh, expected. I'll do my best. I can spend, you know, tomorrow running grain to grain mill, or the, the grain grist mill, and put beet into the beet thing. I'll try and tidy up the ground around it as well, so it looks nicer than what it does. Just hideous. Whenever you place anything, it just looks absolutely hideous. And I know they say, oh, you should place it on a flattened surface, but it could just, like, taper off nicely for you. Uh, it wouldn't be that hard to do that. If I can do it in Sculpton, then the game should be able to do it in your place. Again, I probably asked too much. So, yeah, we'll just tidy up around here. Since we're going to have to go down here, might as well just dig it right up. I've got the stone picker still. Um, I guess I could could have had my stone picker picking the field for me right now, couldn't I? That's what I should have done. I wasn't thinking. I was a little bit excited that the uh, the snow had gone and wanted to get out here making my massive meadow because I like doing this. Another one of the weird ones I like doing. I like changing the shapes of the fields and sort of making it my own, really. I, re I love this map, and I've said that a million times. But one of the things that I love about it is the the ability to change it so much. You've got some lovely maps out there that you can only really customise through Giant Zeta, and obviously not everyone can do that. Even not everyone on PC knows how to do that. I struggle with it. And uh, people on console definitely can't. So when you get a map like this, it's available on all platforms, and it offers the customization that this does, and you know, Riverview as well. Then, uh, then I think that's a, a big tick on the map. Now, even if somewhere is based like real life, it's nice to be able to uh, change it a bit. Just saying. Right. And speaking of maps, I haven't touched my attempt at making a map for a long time now. It was just, you know, so time consuming. Um, shall we extend? I think we shall. Then we'll come back up. I think we can get uh, a little bit more in here. Now, I haven't fiddled around with the course plate to see if that's. Uh, work properly yet. I guess that's another thing I can do over the months when uh, when I'm not recording, is just to see if I can get a few of those issues that were playing me up to uh, to behave. Really, that would be nice. Pick that one up. I won't worry about going along that edge, but I think we had quite a bit of space up the top here. So we'll... Uh, just adjust that a little bit. Again, like I've said of other things, it might not look a lot, but when you add it all up, a few extra feet of uh, cuttable actual meadow, especially with the uh, the issues we're having with feed, a few feet would be great. Now I was thinking now, this was going to be our corn. We might do corn in both of them. If we're going to put beet back down where we just pulled beet from, I want to put corn in both of the, these fields so we've got loads of corn silage. Plus, we'll have corn to go in the uh, 
in the grist. Should we need it? Um, I think that's. I think that's that. I think that's done. It was a quick lease. Quick job done. So uh, I'll get this back, and uh, I think probably chuck some manure about. That's what we're going to do next. We'll do some manure. So we've got our first load of muck in. Uh, we're going to head off to our furthest meadow. And I've also set a worker up to do the stone picking because I thought that would be a good idea. Open that up. Almost forgot. Turn it on. If I bring my little map up. There we are. We can get a little bit of muck spread uh, into the end of the day. I'll be able to do this uh, as it gets darker because we'll be able to use the little overhead map. But yeah, it's uh, probably been a bit of a strange episode, I think. The uh, the snow at the start threw me off, my plan. And then, you know, little things that annoy me, <laughs> annoyed me. On the upside, the course play worked fine today. So, <laughs> I don't know why it didn't want to work last time with the subsoil. Just one of those things. We seem to have a lot of just one of those things, but that's what that was. I wonder why we're getting that strip that's not taken. See that on there? There's just a little strip. I wonder if that follows us all the way round or... It appears to. Okay. We'll see. Anyway, we'll uh, hopefully get a few of these done. It'd be nice if I could get this whole meadow finished today. Well, not today, but, you know, <laughs> in this video. So we'll uh, we'll do what we can. We'll be empty soon and we'll head back. But I'm going to try and get some lights on. And uh, we'll see if we can time-lapse this one. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I've got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I've got no love. So instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you can do it It's half past five, it's, uh, wow, that's a red sky <laughs> It's, uh doom and gloom. Our first meadow has been uh, spread. I'm going to roll straight into this one. Hopefully. And uh, once I've done this I'm going to go check in on my worker because our stones will probably fill up because there's like 2,000 litres in there already. And uh, I'm going to go through the next couple of days and I'll uh, muck spread all the meadows. I will stone pick everything that needs to be stone picked. I will muck spread the uh, old beet field. Try and get uh, <laughs> Pooh Mountain down a little bit. I'll probably uh, look after. I'll look, well, not probably. I will. I'll look after the greenhouses. I'll try and get the cows fed as best I can with what we've got. And you guys come back probably. Uh, what we got? Some January, February, probably March, I should imagine, unless something amazing comes up or happens or I don't know. But then March is when we're going to have some more jobs. We'll be able to look, or I'll check. Maybe February. Maybe February we might be able to get some early uh, planting in. But we'll, we'll have a look at that. But yeah, that's when you guys will come back. That's what I'll do. Our money will fluctuate depending on cows. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos come live. And as always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.